Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall have their fill. This is a beautiful thought from today's gospel on the Holy Beatitudes. Very beautiful one. And the justice for which we are seeking is the justice of the saints, that true holiness, perfection of life. And But so often it happens that we fail. We make all of our good resolutions in the morning as we do our meditation or in our morning prayers and we think of all of the normal faults that we fall into and we make our resolutions. And by the end of the day, when we make our examination of conscience before going to bed, we see that our list of sins and faults and falls really hasn't changed from yesterday or the day before that or even a week or two before that. If anything, it seems to have grown and gotten worse. However, we should never become disquiet about that. You see, that's one of the tricks of the devil. Never forget it. And one reason why so many of us never quite make it to sainthood. Because we be, we allow ourselves to become too disquieted by our falls. Now, there should always be, whenever we fall, there must be contrition and a true desire to amend our life, to do penance for that sin, and then move on. That's how we react to sin. That's how the saints reacted to sin. But you'll notice in the lives of the saints that they never allowed themselves, after a fall, to become disquieted. That's a sign of pride. And it's a sign that we were relying too much on our own strength, relying too much on ourselves, thinking that, well, we are big boys and we can overcome this, rather than falling on our knees and praying to God for the help that we need to overcome his sin, realizing that we are little children who need the help of a father who will lift us up in his arms. It's the Theresian way, the little way of St. Therese. And that is why she had such peace. She recognized herself to be so little that she could do nothing without the help of her father. And so when she fell, she said that as a child she would cry and then cry because she had cried. But then she quickly realized that was nothing but pride. And so what did she do? She then realized it makes no sense to get all upset about your fall, but simply cast yourself into the arms of our Lord with the greatest confidence and then keep moving on, keep marching forward in the ways of sanctity. And that's pretty much it. The secret of sanctity. That's how all of the saints whom we're honoring this, this week, this octave, and there are millions of them, they talk about all of the tribes and a multitude that no man could number in heaven now, rejoicing because they have been victorious over all of their sins, all of their enemies, and are now reaping the, the, the fruit of all of their labors now as they kneel before the face of God in adoration and in love. That's the secret to what they did. If they fell, they never allowed themselves to stay long, to become discouraged or go into that attitude of, woe is me, for I have fallen. People that do that, it's often a a sign of pride there too. They have ruined their own image of what they think they should be. Whereas the humble man, he always gets up because he's not always focused on self, but he's looking upward to God and thinking, I want to be the saint that you want me to be. And if you permit me to fall, well, then you will give me the strength and the grace to get back up again and keep moving forward. And I, on my part, will simply humble myself and make an act of love and of contrition. That's the secret. 
And today, let's all of us work on that. And should we commit a sin, venial or, God forbid, even a mortal one, let us not become depressed or, even worse, let's not despair, but let us humbly admit that's what we are without the grace of God assisting us. And let us fall on our knees and make an act of perfect contrition and resolve from then on to serve God with the help of his grace. And in that way, we will join that number of the multitude of saints of whom no man can number. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.